यही कार्यक्रम सह प्रायोजक Dear students and viewers, I R N Panda welcome you all of you to the online classes of this M B C T V. We have uh, started uh, the topic, the basic concept of chemistry in last two classes. We have read that the matter exists in three states: sol interconvertible states, solid, liquid, and gas, and this matter. exists as a particle and the particles of the matter are either atom in a ele in elementary state or it may exist a combined state in elementary state it is an element and this element exists as atom or molecule and in the combined state it exists as compound and the compound exists as molecule we have discussed what is an atom what is an element what is an atom relationship between an atom and element and dalton's atomic theory to characterize an atom and we discussed also what is a molecule and uh, the molecule of the elements are called as the elementary molecule all elementary gas molecules are diatomic and there are triatomic molecule we have discussed as a ozone the oxygen three atoms combined to form a molecule of ozone now coming the combined state it exists as compound so in a com in a molecule of a compound the molecule is defined as the smallest particle of a substance which has free existence when atoms of different element they combine in definite proportion they form the molecule of a compound in a molecule of a compound the atoms of combining element they lose their elementary properties so the molecule exist as one particle as i have given you the example of hydrogen combustible oxygen supporter of combustion but water is neither combustible nor supporter of combustion the same way we have discussed the carbon dioxide the carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide carbon do combustible combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is a compound it is a colorless gas now coming to this dalton's atomic theory we have discussed and i have concluded the entire dalton's atomic theory in one sentence all elementary properties of an element are atomic in nature now when you come to the solid state liquid state and gas state the three states among the in solid state the particles are compactly closely packed immobile and very hard they cannot move in liquid they have the mobility at the same time they possess two other properties called viscosity and surface tension and uh, the gaseous state the molecules are free to move in all possible direction so when you want when we want to study the property of a matter its best stays is is the gaseous state because in gaseous state the particle of the molecules they remain independently so i have ex explained you last class the properties of an ideal gas molecules p m c s p f t that p all gas molecules are insignificantly small material particles they possess the matter then m motion they undergo random motion the random motion i have told you that in a random motion we have defined they come and go ascend descend stop not repeat such to and fro motion incessantly in all possible directions which is the uh, cause of the homogeneous character of atmosphere and also the omnipresent of the gas everywhere wherever the gas is there uh, then c the collision they undergo elastic collision and this elastic collision because of elastic collision it arises a pressure inside the gas they collide against them uh, among themselves and again the wall the wall of the container without a loss of any energy or their velocity then size they have the insignificant size they occupy the whole volume 
they constitute the volume, but their molecular size is insignificantly small. Then pressure is defined as the force per unity area, which arises because of the elastic collision and the random motion of the gas particles and the temperature is because of all these properties, all these properties, the, its effect is the temperature. With this we have discussed. Now then we were discussing last class about uh, a, this matter also exists as a, can be exist as a ma mixer. This matter can also exist as a mixer. So, what is a mixer? So, mixer is defined as is formed by the com uh, is by the uh, combination of two or more than two pure substances which of different composition which can be separated by physical means into their constituent components and this physical methods of separation we can call as a filtration we can <laughs> say by the fractional distillation if it is a liquid or a differential extraction if it is a solid or if it is a gas by the chromatography, gas chromatography we can also uh, separate them. Now, this mixer depending upon the constitution or the composition of the mixer, this mixer can be a homogeneous mixer. It can be a homogeneous mixer uh, uh, and it, or it can be a heterogeneous mixer. So, when you come to the same things are present, when identical things are present we call as a homogeneous. Anything uniform, if anything then uniform take place which call this as a homogeneous. For example, when you take, take salt put into water, the salt vanishes and we get the solution. So, this is solution we say as a homogeneous mixture of the solute, the salt and the solvent. So, this homogeneous mixture they, they in the substances, the co different components, they remain in a uniform state. So, in the, it can be a gas, it can be a liquid, it can be also a solid. When you come to the gas, in a gas, gas we can take air is an example of uh, homogeneous mixer. Is an air is a uh, example of homogeneous mixer. If you come to liquid, the water. Another example you can take is the cloud. Cloud also is a homogeneous mixer of the uh, is a homogeneous mixer where you have the water particles and the gas both air both are there inside present. Then coming to the liquid state the tap water is a homogeneous mixer because it has the water in the water where all the mineral particles are present in the in the water all the mineral particles are present. So, we say the tap water. And uh, then we can if you come to the solid state or, or petrol we use the vehicles the petrol the gasoline petrol it is also a homogeneous mixer. If you come to a solid if you come to the uh, brass which is an alloy of copper uh, we, that, that is um, we can take the brass. So, similarly stainless steel is also a homogeneous mixture of the iron and or uh, maybe nickel and uh, carbon particles. So, the stainless steel so much so that 22 carat gold this is also we call as a homogeneous mixer. So, it is a gold and uh, one, one will see that gold is an element, but 24 carat gold is an element in elementary state because the purest form the gold is present, but the moment you take the its carat decreases. 22, it is added with uh, the copper or silver, the copper are added to the gold to prepare the 24, 22 carat gold. Now, we will come to the this uh, heterogeneous uh, mixture. In the heterogeneous mixture, we have the example we can take the liquid is the mud water. In a mud water is an example of heterogeneous mixture when we can identify the particles of mud and also water simultaneously we can see them present in this. So, it is a heterogeneous mixer the mud water and now we will come to the I mean solid state so wood we take the example as a wood. The wood is a heterogeneous state uh, the solid state 
we can find the wood and other thing inside the present we can very easily find out them. So, this is the way and suppose the, the another example you can take the gunpowder. Gunpowder is also is a heterogeneous mixture where we can take the three things are present in the gunpowder. It contains potassium nitrate KNO3 I write as a potassium nitrate. It also contains uh, the charcoal powder and sulphur. These are the three things present inside the in the heterogeneous mixture is an example. So, these are the it can be a liquid, it can be a gas, it can be a solid. If you come to gas, the smoke, smoke is a mixer, is a suppose we bike, we are going in a bike, when you give a start, you get the, the smoke, we are getting it. So, we have the carbon particles, they are not visible and the carbon monoxide gas is coming out, carbon dioxide gas is coming out and because of the distribution of this carbon particles, we find uh, the black color and that is a smoke is a heterogeneous mixture. So, you see whenever you I am teach, uh, tell, teaching you a subject, but whatever they are present in the atmosphere in our lifetime, in our you uh, in our family, in our society, whatever you are using and whatever we are consuming and whatever we are wearing and whatever we do, we are as a, a chemical substances. Everything is a chemical substance. So, somebody says I want to read chemistry, I, so that is the reason I do not say do not read chemistry. If you read chemistry, you are distinguishing yourself from the chemistry. The moment you say that I love chemistry, so you live in chemistry. That is because I told you in my last class that every human being exists is an elementary state exists in atomic in nature. I am an elementary state and I am my existence is the atomic existence. So, this is the way as I told you very beginning I have while starting class I told you that the chemistry is a subject we are reading to understand why what is what we are eating what we are drinking and what we are sleeping and what we are inhaling, what we are exhaling, everything that we do is a chemical effect of that. And the moment a student goes on observing everything in his daily life, he goes on increasing his knowledge of the chemistry. So, now question is they can be separate by the physical means. Suppose we have a gunpowder and the how this gunpowder can be separated, one example I can give you this. So, we are having a mixture of this three potassium nitrate and uh, charcoal and uh, sulphur. So, now this potassium nitrate this if you take the gunpowder, if we take the gunpowder and add water, we take the gunpowder and add water to that. So, the potassium nitrate is a salt, potassium nitrate is a salt will be dissolved in water, will be dissolved in water. And uh, when the moment we dissolve in water, now we will get two state, what is a homogeneous state and uh, the other is a heterogeneous state, both the things we get. So, that homogeneous state, we get the solution of potassium nitrate, we get potassium nitrate. We take water, add water and we filter it and we filter it. So, the filter it, we get the solution in the potassium nitrate. So, in the residue in we get a solid, the residue we will have the sulphur plus charcoal powder. Now, we take this sulphur and charcoal powder, if we add carbon disulphide C S 2 carbon disulphide, this carbon disulphide will dissolve sulphur, it will dissolve sulphur, it will form a homogeneous system, a solution and the carbon remains as a residue. So, it beca becomes two things, it gets different divided, we get the solution of sulphur in carbon disulphide and we will have the charcoal as the residue. So, so this is the way we can separate the a heterogeneous mixture 
by a simple process of adding a liquid and then filtering it. So, this gives us a knowledge of how the substance atom element molecule. Now, we will go to study the atom and a molecule. So, first thing that one has to understand as I told you the atom is the smallest particle of an element may or may not have pre existence, but cannot be further subdivided. So, what is a particle? The particle has a mass with it, the particle has a volume with it and the particle possesses the state of inertia. So, as a whole the matter has a mass, as a whole the matter occupies a the volume and as a whole the matter also exhibits uh, the state of inertia. If it is state of inertia means if it is under rest, it is under rest, if it is under motion, it will be under motion. So, when a matter is moving the all the particles present in the in inside the matter they are also moving. They have the kinetic energy of the matter and uh, the same kinetic energy the particles also possess. Now, we will come to this atom has a mass and that is that mass we can express by the word atomic mass. Now, we want to so what is atomic mass? What is mass is atomic mass is not the mass of the atom. When you say atomic mass, one will understand that atomic mass is the mass of the atom. So, atom is a so small a particle whose diameter is about 10 to power minus 8 centimeter, we cannot weigh out an atom, we cannot put it the atom in a bag because we, it may exist or it, it may not exist freely. So, we cannot take isolate an atom put to take its independent weight. So, then what is done? So, it is a expressed by a relative weight, it is a relative weight the express. For example, what the word relative I want to explain you. Suppose you find a very fair person. So, Takwa me kohibu, bohut gora pila tevali koiba. Bohut gora pila, bohut gora mane kon babucho, bohut gora mane kon kimti kohilo, bohut gora mane kimti mubuchi, nasa champa gora. Mane go champata, bohu de kiape and bohu sunda, champa of borna jimti, se locor of borna simti, and takwa me kochu, champa gora vali kochu. Tarasi gora borna taku, am a champa color set the turna kolu. So, with relation to the flower, we are now expressing the color of the person. Now, we are going to express a red color. I have a sort of red color. Then, what is the red color? Now, then you will say that is red, is it blood? blood then, red, 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 many red, red colors are here. One is a blood red you have, you have a crimson red, we have brick red. So, when you are saying a red color as a maroon red, so Anything you to say that you are an, uh, use an adjective before that blood uh, from the red, then you say that you are explaining the type of red. So, a relative term. So, to a thing which cannot be explained can, uh, can be explained with respect to somebody. So, with respect to some this atom is explained, hence its mass is explained, hence it is called a relative mass. And then is called average mass it is also an average mass. So, the atomic mass it is a it is a average relative mass. It is not a mass exact mass, it is not the absolute mass, it is average and also a relative mass. Two things, two adjectives are used before the noun the mass. It is a uh, average. Why average? Because when you see hydrogen, there are some atoms of hydrogen they have mass 1, there are some atoms of hydrogen they have mass 2, there are some atoms of hydrogen they have mass 3, but the 1 is abundantly present, 2 is present to a very, very, very small and a 3 at mass atom they are insignificantly small. So, we take a average of 3 then it comes as 1.008 the mass comes of the uh, atomic mass unit or similarly if you have the uh, chlorine. 
it is three masses, uh, two masses, the 35 and 37, but 35, three parts are present and 37, one, parts are, one part is present. Hence, uh, its mass comes to a fraction as 35.5. So, we say, so that is the reason it is expressed with respect to something. So, earlier we were expressing it with respect to hydrogen. So, we are discussing uh, the atomic mass earlier was defined as a ratio of the mass of mass of an atom of element to the mass of an atom of hydrogen mass of an atom of hydrogen is taken as a, a mass of the atom of an element to the mass of an atom of hydrogen. Why hydrogen? Because it is the smallest element, it is the smallest atom and its mass was taken as 1. The chemistry people we see, we say that this hydrogen can be considered as a brick, as a fundamental brick in the wall of chemistry. If the whole chemistry the whole chemistry is a wall this is called as the fundamental brick fundamental brick so we will take the fundamental brick as the in the walls so each in a wall is made up of what bricks so each brick is a unit so hence hydrogen is taken as a unit and its mass is 1 so this but later on when it is found that hydrogen consists of three type of atoms they are called as isotopes, they are called as isotopes having mass 1, having mass 2, having mass 3. Hence, its atomic mass came as uh, 1.0 instead of 1, it, it came as 1.008. So, th the atomic mass then the definition changed, which defined it the ratio of 1 by 12 parts. 1 by 12 parts of mass of an atom of carbon C 12. The presently we are defining, we are taking C 12 as a standard carbon 12 means carbon atom having atomic mass 12 is called C 12, C 12 isotope is taken it is a very stable and it is abundantly present it is very stable black in color and hence they use this uh, carbon as a standard 1 by 12 parts of the mass of an atom of carbon atom of carbon C 12 and this is the definition of this. So, then what you take if you take the characteristics of an atomic mass the atomic mass is not an absolute mass it is not the exact mass, it is not the absolute mass, it is not the exact mass. Second, it is a relative average mass. Third, it is, it is not expressed by the normal units. We have the kg, gram, all this you, are, you, you have studied already the units as measurements. It is expressed in AMU, the atomic mass is expressed in AM. A M U, this A M U stands for atomic mass unit, atomic mass unit, it stands for atomic mass unit. So, th this one, if you, what is the relationship between the uh, unit of mass and atomic mass unit? 1 A M U, 1 A M U is equal to 1.66 into 10 to power minus 24 grams, you can imagine how small it is or 1.66 in 10 to the power minus 27 kg. If you come to the MKS system, then you are taking as the 1.6 10 to the power minus 27 kg and if you go to CGS system, it is 21 by 24 gram. That means what? Uh, you have 1.66 1 by 1, this is 1.66 by 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 like you have 24 zeros at that down. So, you can understand now 
how small is this 1 amu it is expressed in amu. So, the atomic mass of hydrogen now we can say the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1.008 mu or atomic mass of carbon is 12 amu or atomic mass of oxygen is 16 amu atomic mass unit it is 16 at amu. Now, similarly when you come to uranium you have 9 uh, 2 or you can suppose uh, sulfur you take uh, then 32, 32 amu like this. So, it is expressed by atomic mass unit. So, one atomic mass unit is 1.66 in 10 to power minus uh, 24 grams. So, we express in atomic mass unit scale this atomic mass. Now, we will come to the explain this how it is related. Now, we are going to see a very mysterious thing if you take the atomic mass of different elements and we study will huh. so we can go by this so we will have a break in between and after the break i will explain you that in gram if we express then how a gram and this atomic mass they are related so after the break we will discuss about then and find a mysterious thing present in it the atomic mass and gram atomic mass So, we were discussing what is atomic mass, the atomic mass is a relate is a average a relative mass and it is defined as the ratio of the mass of an atom of the element to 1 by 12 parts of the mass of an atom of carbon. And since the atom is so insignificantly small and hence cannot be its mass cannot be determined. So, this atomic mass is not an exact mass, it is a relative mass. Earlier it was expressed with respect to hydrogen because the atomic mass of hydrogen was taken as 1 as a standard and the atomic mass was explained. Now, then when it was found that the hydrogen has 3 isotopes, isotopes means atoms of same element having different atomic mass or different mass number are called as isotopes. So, atom hydrogen exists as 1 uh, mass number 1, mass number 2, mass number 3. So, when we take the average it comes as 1.008. So, atomic mass of hydrogen is 1.008 amu. Similarly, the carbon 12 amu, oxygen 16 amu, sulfur 32 amu. So, then comes when atomic mass when atomic mass when atomic mass expressed in grams expressed in grams in grams is called as is called as gram atomic mass is called as gram atomic mass or gram atom. When you are expressing the mass by the normal unit as a gram, we call gram atomic mass, we call that as a gram atomic mass. So, what is the relationship between gram atomic mass and our gram atom and atomic mass of atomic mass of an element? The what is the relationship between gram atomic mass and atomic mass of the element? So, let us let us find out we say here suppose the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 amu 16 amu. So, then what is the mass of oxygen atom? So, mass of oxygen atom will be 16 into 1.66 into 10 to bar minus 24 grams. Why? Now, 1 amu, 1 atomic mass unit is 1.66 in 10 to bar minus 24 grams. So, this many grams. 
So, therefore, number of atoms, number of atoms present ok. So, what is your doubt my friend? Any doubt you have? Somebody has a doubt? Hello? Please tell your question. Hello? Please tell your question. Hello? 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 What is, what is your doubt? Uh, atom, good day. Hello? Good ah, evening, sir. Hello, good evening. Uh, good day, atom, bro. गोटिए एटम रो वेट करिवर प्रोसेस कोन पढौची सेटा सुन गोटिए एटम को वेट करिवर प्रोसेस कोन तमे वर्तमान देखो स्क्रीन को देखो मु जहा कहूची सुन तमे जान दे परिबो बस एटम इज 16 इन 1.66 इन 10 पावर माइनस 24 ग्राम्स सो नंबर ऑफ एटम्स प्रेजेंट इन 1 ग्राम एटम of oxygen will be how much? So, 16 by 16 into 1.66 into 10 to power minus 24. Mass of an atom is oxygen atom is 16 in 1.66. So, 16 gram re kete da oxygen atom a chambahar korche. So, this will come if you calculate it comes to 6.02 into 10 to power 23 atoms. So, so, 1 gram atom of oxygen contains 6.02 into 10 to power 23 atoms. Now, let us come to carbon. Atomic mass, atomic mass of carbon is 12 mu. Therefore, mass of mass of an atom of carbon, an atom of carbon will be 12 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. Therefore, number of atoms, number of atoms in 1 gram atom of carbon in 1 gram atom of carbon is 12 by 12 into 1.66 in 10 to the power minus 24, it will come to again 6.02 in 10 to the power 23. So, we find here 6 point here same value. So, now we can if you go to sulphur, you go to uranium, you go to thorium, you go to iron, anything you take, you will get 1 gram atom of every element that contain a constant number of particles. This is a very wonderful thing happens in the nature, the, uni, uh, the nature is a very uniformity of nature. So, you are finding it that one, so we conclude here 1 gram atom of any element. Now, we can conclude here any element contains contains 1 uh, contains 6.02 into 10 to power 23 number of atoms number of atoms. 1 gram atom of any element and 1 gram atom of any element contains 6.02 into 10 to power 23 number of atoms. So, this they with a, with a, with, a, with a honor to a scientist called Avogadro, we will very soon we are reading we are going to read Avogadro's law. So, uh, in, in his honor Avogadro the scientist Avogadro they call this number as a is called as constant number of atoms is called as Avogadro's number. In honor of that scientist they gave the name as a Avogadro number. So, we will say that one gram atom of every element contains one Avogadro number of atoms. 
so now we can find a part we can now suppose I have I have 16 suppose I have <coughs> 1.6 grams of oxygen atomic mass of oxygen is 16 suppose I have 1.6 grams of oxygen. So, I will say that I have uh, 0.1 gram atom of oxygen instead of telling 1.6 grams I can tell I have 0.1 gram atom of oxygen. So, when you this is a very useful thing this the why I am telling you the children because these are the language of chemistry we a basic concept of chemistry the topic we are reading is basic concept basic means molecular our concept of the tattva jota amara is a rasayanika molika tattva ta ame pohuche kintu gote sundar example tamuku douchi kahi ki mu taku ette sun tamuku ette agraha ra sahita padhouchi au ette explanation douchi reason because ame jetala understand kariba ame je bujhiba ko chaima gote subject ko janima ko chaima padiba ko chaima taku ame je tar pratyek padara artha ko bujhiba au tar language ko bhasha ko jodi ame na bujhiba tahale ame ananda anubhav kari paribani Good example to mukumu douchi dekho ethi gote school re gote function hothala annual function hochi so an annual function daki chanti character ku daki chanti se school public school re public school ro se jo collector je asuchi je asanti se ho chanti gote odia lokata odia madam te no odia loko se is pai chanti collector hei chanti au se school re je tankara union advisor achanti से होचंती तेलुगु मैडम ते से किछि ओडिया हिंदी एते जानंतनी तेलुगु जानंती नले इंग्लिश जानंती प्रिंसिपल से मैडम को कहले आ मु टिके बिजी अछि भीतर अरेंजमेंट करछि तमे टिके गेट पाखा रह चीफ गेस्ट आसे रिसीव कर देबो ये तेलुगु लोक चली गेले चीफ गेस्ट पा ठिया हाले कलेक्टर ओलेले चीफ गेस्ट ओलेले ये फुलो तोडा देई के तम कहउचंती मैम निज लैंग्वेज रे तमे आगे कहिबा ना मैम रांडी 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 कहिचन ताकु so that collector is a Odia Gio. See the Tala de Kile, Pohut Bestripole, Connie Locomote Cochi, Randi, so say Odia Buzile, Ye Jahakole, Ye Boot Agra Seta, Namaskar Kariki, Boot San Mandro Seta Dan Cochondi, Randi, Randi, Randi. Say both Outer Tapole, Setale collector Tiagale, she called Gadi Packer Tiagale, Aguca Seleni, Ye Dodigale, Tanka Hatoku Tarikole, Madam Randi, 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 Aye Padhaye Jim Tiamikocho, please welcome, welcome Nokohiki, Telugoloko, Yetaku Randi, Randi Koichanti. So say collector Agiki Chapre Pokele, say Madam Coop, Color Askel, where is your principal? Then somebody went to call the principal Asilekon, Hella, why this? So, both curious say, I don't want to go to this function. Koi ki se gadi ki polo chandi. Asian principal tanga hatho dhori ki apologize kalle. Pachala ma'am, excuse me, hella kaun oshila kaun? Na this lady, matte kohuchi randi randi. Tara ma randi ho, ta bhoni randi ho, ta bappa randi ho, ta bhai randi ho, se nijer randi ho, mukai randi hai bi. Toh mujhe guest kori ki matte randi kohuchha. Se hatho dhori ki ma'am koile ma'am, randi hoche, ra hoche gude pa sabda telu gure aso aso. Randi endi lagi gala wale, se sanman hai gala, asantu hai gala. Se apun ko asantu, asantu, aye padhaye jo kohu chanti, semti kohya swagatam, swagatam, swagatam kohu chanti se, ma'am khyama karantu, se apun ko kar. Please, this is called a lack of communication. Jodhi ame bhasa bujhi bani, tahale ame bhasa, ame jo jinsata bujhu se tak bujhi pari bani, ata ko jani pari bani. Children, Try to understand. Prathame chari panchoti ki choti class jo achhi, taku tortar hoy ki na budhi ki, tortar hoy ki na padi ki, pratek ortha ko ame jodi budhi ba, tahale automatically ame pathota jatteval ame homogeneous gude pada asila, tahale homogeneous kohi dei pariva ame. Ame gude word ko element ko use kori pariva, element ko element ta kona ame ta ko use kori pariva. Sethi pani jo gram atom bolli mu kochi, atomic mass bolli kochi, avogadro number ta kochi. So it is a number of it is, a, it is a number. It is a number we are taking, it's a constant number. So it is a universal constant. So this Avogadro number is a universal constant. So this is what about atom. Now how the atom atomic mass can be determined? So when when the uh, when the science uh, chemistry was very uh, primitive, Satabale good law hitala, Takukwahala, Dulong Petit's law, Satabale solid element row. 
आटोमिक मास डिटरमिन करिया पाई से माने डिलोंग पेटिट्स लॉ यूज करके करथले ता पर पर साइंस डेवलप करी छि आटोमिक स्ट्रक्चर डेवलप होई छि इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिया होई छि स्पेक्ट्रम स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर ता पर डिस्कवर हला डिस्कवर ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर रे वर्तमान आटोमिक मास को हमें डायरेक्ट स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर रे हमें मास स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर रे हमें डिटरमिन करि परिबा मास स्पेक्ट्रोग्राफ हमें उटा एलिमेंट रो नै परिबा ताकू वेपर को उटा एलिमेंट रो पचर थले म बंधु जे हमें किमिति जानिमा ता मास टाकू हमें एलिमेंट नलु ताको गैस स्टेट को करा जिवो करा गला परे तारा मास स्पेक्ट्रोग्राफी नबो मास स्पेक्ट्रोग्राफी रे हम क्लियरली मेंशन आसी जिवो एग्जैक्टली हम को तारा एटॉमिक मास चली आसीबो एटॉमिक मास टा रिलेटिव मास टा सो दैट कैन बी डिटरमिन इट्स नॉट एन एब्सोल्यूट मास इट इज कॉल्ड ए रिलेटिव मास नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड अनदर मॉलिक्यूल सो लेट मी गो टू व्हाट इज कॉल्ड मॉलिक्यूलर मास आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग द टर्म्स आई एम नॉट टीचिंग एनी केमिस्ट्री don't think i am teaching you chemistry i am teaching you chemistry i am not teaching you chemistry i am explaining the meaning of the words and you go to any book open any book any page of the book chemistry book you can understand the moment you read the moment you understand the words because i told you in my first class a sentence is a combination of words which conveys our sense completely and a word is a combination of letters which has a meaning so if a student of science understands the meaning of each word i say i guarantee he will do excellent in his subject many often very unknowingly or knowingly the chemistry teachers they tell the students please remember please remember so i tell you in my first class if you remember you will forget if you remember you will forget so more you forget more you remember so question is this we will understand if we understand we will never misunderstand and there is no question of forgetting anything we will never forget anything so we will not remember anything so we will not forget anything we will understand anything now comes molecular mass so the moment is a molecular mass so somebody may understand that molecular mass means what mass of a molecule no not mass of a molecule it is exactly like that they like that atomic mass it is also exactly a molecular mass it is a relative mass it is a, we are not using here average we are not using here average is a relative mass is defined as is defined as the mass of, uh, defined as Ratio, uh, ratio of mass of one molecule, mass of one molecule of the substance by mass of mass of one atom of hydrogen it was the first definition of this molecular mass so that means what you mean by word what you mean by this how many times how many times the mass of an atom of a molecule of the substance why i am using the word substance because it may be a elementary molecule or it may be a molecule of a compound suppose i am talking about carbon dioxide it is a compound i am talking about oxygen it is a element so it can element it may be a molecule of an element it may be a molecule of a compound so i am using the word substance so the it is defined as a ratio of the mass of one molecule of the substance by mass of one atom of hydrogen this was the first definition came for molecular mass as i told you later on when it was found the ma atomic mass of hydrogen was thought to be one but it is not exactly one it became as 1.008 a fraction so if you use here a fraction then there will be a problem again to for calculation for use so and hydrogen is a gas so it is very difficult to handle it hence then in according to modern definition they change this uh, when they use the carbon 
as I told you while talking to you atomic mass I told you the carbon 12 the atom means carbon atom having mass 12 num mass number 12 is very stable and abundantly present highly stable and abundantly present. So, carbon was taken as standard. So, then the definition of molecular mass came as molecular mass is mass of mass of a molecule of the substance to 1 by 12 parts of mass of an atom of carbon an atom of carbon of isotope C 12 isotope C 12. So, this is the definition we took that is the atomic mass uh, the mass of the uh, mass of a molecule of the uh, substance to by 1 by 12 parts of mass of an atom of carbon of isotope C 12. So, if you take this ratio then that becomes the atomic mass. Now, it is a ratio. So, since it is a ratio now it does not have any independent unit this molecule does not have an any it is expressed in it is expressed in this molecular mass is expressed in again atomic mass unit it is also expressed in atomic mass this molecular mass is expressed in atomic mass unit or a m u. So, then how we calculate? So, we calculate so molecular mass how we will calculate the molecular mass will be atomicity of the molecule into multiplied by atomic mass. What is atomicity? The atomicity means number of atoms present in an elementary molecule number of atoms present is called atomicity. Atomicity means what? Number of atoms present in an elementary molecule. So, when you come to the oxygen, so molecular mass of oxygen O2 will be what? Atomic mass is 16. So, it at number of atoms 2 into 16 we get as 32 AMU. Huh. Similarly, when you come to molecular mass of uh, nitrogen that is uh, 2 into 14 that is 28 AMU. Now, when you come to co compound molecular mass of a compound. So, when you come to molecular mass of a compound, so this algebraic sum of it is equal to what? Algebraic sum of atomic mass of atomic mass of elements present in the molecule present in the molecule. So, the at it is the algebraic sum of the atomic mass of the elements present in the molecule. For example, molecular mass of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide atomic mass of carbon is 12 and uh, atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So, 2 into 16. So, this comes to 44 AMU. Now, molecular mass of sulfuric acid H 2 SO 4 sulfuric acid. So, hydrogen is 2 1 into 2 into 1 plus sulfur 32 and oxygen 4 into 16 4 into 16 it comes to 98 AMU 98 like this you can calculate any molecular mass of any substance we can calculate in the same manner. So, we say that this molecular mass expressed in grams expressed in grams 
is called gram molecular mass is called as gram molecular mass. So, this is a gram atom this is called as gram molecule. Children we have done a very important uh, facets of the basic concept of chemistry that is read what is matter atom uh, our, our element then compound uh, atom then molecule at then uh, the molecular properties of the gas then we have studied what is atomic mass what is molecular mass what is gram atom and gram molecular mass we have studied also the homogeneous mixer heterogeneous mixer if I get an opportunity then I will go to teach you what is mole concept and uh, these are the language I have telling you the meaning of the words if you understand them you will do very well actually the more you want to understand understanding comes we listen and uh, we read or listen to understand and after understanding we earn knowledge and this knowledge is synthesized in us in our brain power as our wisdom. I am conveying my gratefulness to the managing committee of the Jupiter science group of institutions of Jupiter college or Jupiter group of institutions. This Jupiter college in Orissa to me it appears as a center of excellence. If you go to result seat of Jupiter science college you will find every year this is the only college in Odisha who has a rankers in the result and last year they got four ranks perhaps among all the private colleges the Jupiter science college was the first in the merit list. It is a I am really grateful to the management who has taken this opportunity to teach the students of uh, Odisha and also equally I am grateful to the MBC TV when the whole world is busy in discussing corona when whole all the channels of Odisha they are discussing about uh, counting the number of uh, corona patients and death and etc. the MBC TV is in busy in building the career of the students who are going to begin their career after appearing class 10. I am really grateful it is a very good uh, step the MBC TV has taken to take classes for teaching the fundamentals to the students of the students of the Odisha board particularly who are reading this. So, thankful to you viewers thank I am really thankful to you viewers if I get an opportunity I will again come and explain you the other facets that is more concept and complete that concept of the basic concept of chemistry. Thank you very much. यही कार्यक्रम और सह प्रयोजक है